Okay, today we're looking at a required practical for GCSE in the AQA specimen. It is practical four in your textbook. It might appear as practical five. It is the effect of pH on the time taken for amylase to digest starch. And if you remember that the reaction uh, is starch is the substrate, amylase is the enzyme that's digesting it, maltose is the product. How do we know that that reaction has taken place, we can look for the appearance of maltose or we can look for the disappearance of starch. And in fact, that's what we're gonna do because you'll remember back in the day when you've done food tests and such like, testing for starch is really, really quite easy. If we look at this one here, um, this is starch and iodine solution and this is just the iodine solution. So this is a positive result and this is a negative result. We have to say iodine solution because iodine itself is on the periodic table, it is a solid, and so it doesn't reflect what we're talking about. Mark schemes sometimes discriminate against that. We need to say iodine solution. It's actually iodine dissolved in potassium iodide solution. I have my three test tubes. One of them has got my five mils of, of pH. It's actually water in this case, but you might want to do it in acid of pH 2, acid of pH 4, slightly acidic solution of pH 6, and then moving into the alkaline. Just to show you, just to demonstrate it quickly, I've just got the water in there because I'm just doing it at <clears throat> a neutral pH. So in these uh, test tubes here, I'm going to use uh, two mils of my starch solution. I'll give that a mix up actually because starch solution is best when you've just stirred it because not all of it dissolves so to give me the best homogeneous mixture i'm going to stir it and then i'm going to take out my two mils i'm going to use a different pipette because of course i would cross contaminate and the reaction would start straight away if i used that pipette with the amylase okay i'm going to put this into a different um, test tube, just check I've got the right one. Okay, so when you do this in the lab, you will have a water bath to make sure that your temperature is constant throughout. You will monitor that by checking it with a thermometer more than once. That's how we monitor something, because when you monitor something, it's over a period of time. If you're measuring it, it might just be the one time. We want to make sure we don't add another variable, so therefore we're going to maintain the temperature at the same temperature throughout. In my uh, dropping tile, I've placed iodine solution, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix these all together. I'm going to start the clock, and then every 10 seconds, I'm going to extract a little bit from my stock solution and place it in there and I'm going to keep adding it until I don't see a colour change. So let's go. Here's my acid. I'm going to add that to my starch first of all. So the reaction still hasn't started just yet. I'm going to prepare my stopwatch so it's on zero and then I'm going to add it. I'm going to give it a shake and I'm going to start. Okay, so shake, shake, shake. Don't want to hold it because I don't want the heat from my hand to adjust the temperature of that. I'm on 10 seconds. I'm going to remove the smallest drop. I'm going to place it in there and I can see that it's turned black. Okay, I'm now on the next 20 seconds. I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to pop it in there it's turned black and I'm going to continue like that okay I've just added a drop and you can see the color oops you can see the color difference there so I'm going to say that was 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 I'm going to call it a day at 90 seconds. So at pH 7, which is what my water's at, it took 90 seconds for my starch to be digested. 
So of course you would repeat that experiment again, you'd repeat it at different pHs, keeping everything else constant and the same.